Uh, my name is Jana De Martini. Uh, this is my exhibit for March at Blackfish Gallery. And the title of the exhibit is Intrusions. Um, because my work, really uh, about 20 years of uh, my work is dealing with nature, landscapes, and the intrusions of mankind on it, how we mm -hmm. deal or misdeal with uh, the nature, natural landscape. So these three uh, prints, they're all mono prints. And these three prints were the first when I started the whole series. Uh, and it's a combination of mono prints with, or monotypes, with uh, linoleum cut. Over the colors, the background, there is a layer of black, um, mm -hmm. which is the linoleum cut mm -hmm. grid or construction. In this one, that's the last one, because I was using the trees, wanting to have trees as good, nice shapes instead of just painted, mm -hmm. I cut out the shapes and printed them on it. So there are layers of printing. And then I like the color which appeared on those cut up shapes. So I used the shapes over the construction. So there again, the layer here, the trees are on top of it. Inspired by call from Portland State University, alumni for alumni show, and it had a sort of weird uh, title. What existed or found? So I had, for, for my previous show, I had used the woodcut. This part is a woodcut. Uh, it was much larger. So I used that because it existed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this reddish uh, form shape uh, is really a pegboard. And I just used little, enlarged some of those holes so they shouldn't be too uh, automatic. This um, dandelions is really a drawing of uh, color paint pencils uh -huh. to it. And it's called survivors because those two do survive a lot. You know, all these monoprints are a combination of colors, the background, and then superimposed grids, some man made some cre created, constructed. Like here, the back of that structure is really the mesh back of potatoes, mm. potato bags. Mm. Um, and I use them very in various ways. You know how we toss everything, we don't need it, we toss it out. I don't do that. <laughs> well, I don't do it <laughs> either. As, as you can see, I utilize it. <laughs> <laughs> These are two kinds of uh, meshes. Mash, meshes, yeah. And uh, this, this particular one, and there is another one uh, which looks like a gate, is from the idea, is from a Powell Butte which was, was my favorite place to go to unwind and you yeah. know, catch a good breath with like the gates. And uh, this scene, I mean, they are not true scenes from the place. Uh, it's more in my uh, inner mind, inner eye. Uh, but there is very often on top of their, the hill, a little, little, fairly large puddle Sometimes it's very beautiful, especially, for instance, when it freezes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's more of an inspiration of the uh, place. And again, the same thing, the in, like squishing it, enclosing it. You mm -hmm. can't really enjoy the whole thing because it somehow 
intruded by something uh, man-made. Mm -hmm. Of course, this one, and then I have another little one. Uh, that's my uh, quirky sense of humor, a little dark. Perhaps I always say, growing it, growing up under a totalitarian regime and then seeing things going bad. So this is called sinking into darkness. <laughs> uh, here are a combination of m using man-made, like this little, this grid, the red and the red over there, and some constructed uh, this. Uh, grid, the black one, is really, I constructed a grid out of uh, twine, uh -huh. which was not easy, and it was not easy to print. Uh, some of these things, like the lines, you know, this again is a mesh bag. Mm -hmm. These are just uh, cut out shapes and uh, printed over it. This one was drawn it's into. Really, uh, really abstract. It's yeah. It's really yeah. well. The, you know, you sense the landscape behind the yeah. construction, but it's more of a three-dimensional construction over, uh, superimposed over the landscape, oh, okay. and that is drawing over it. While this one is uh, <laughs> linoleum cut, that was really hard to do because I had to cut out everything just that the light stayed. And then I, figured, I discovered that it was very difficult to print because it was sliding. So I had to print the uh, linoleum cut on a mylar and then print it from mylar. That uh, solved the whole, you know, that was the solution. Mm -hmm. I tried my hand on what I can do and what I cannot do. Uh, these uh, variations on an arrow uh, is really a combination of monotype and a form of etching. It's not really etching, it's uh, engraving into plastic. Mm. Only I discovered that so much work put into those lines, it didn't print enough, long enough to mm. let me use it, you know, because mono printing, what the fun part is to create these variations. Mm -hmm. So here the lines are fine and it shows that quality of the uh, dry point. And here it's already flat. The, the lines are too strict. Uh, so then I played with it a little more. I filled uh, the lines, I mean the squares. Uh, and that was it. I couldn't use it anymore. Another uh, trial to use the uh, plastic plate and engraved into it. And again, uh, I realized that I could not produce it into a larger print. It was mm -hmm. too uh, intensive, labor intensive. And this is my trial for the big one. Mm -hmm. I had to try again, is it going to work? You know, the funnel and that the landscape sort of sinking into it. This uh, one is part of the whole intrusions. I, I gave them, na uh, not names, but numbers, because I didn't want to name each part. They're all intruding uh, structures or grids into the natural landscape. Uh, this one I constructed. I used a um, corrugated board stripped it uh, and gave it little strength by using gel, the, the heavy gel the, the cost mm -hmm. of acrylics to strengthen it. But again, it printed once and it just flattened, so I couldn't use it any, again. So some of those things are pretty labor uh, intensive and uh, sometimes, you know, in printing it's known you, you luck out and sometimes it doesn't work out, so play around. But you do like being a laborer. Yes, I do. I enjoy it. But there is a point, you know, <laughs> that the outcome does not match the <laughs> stress. So, yeah. Thank you.